Right, I think we're good. Nice. There we go. Right, let's get it on. How are we doing, guys? There we go. Are we good? Do I sound okay? I'm probably a little bit loud, actually. I hope not. Got to get my link going and we'll get cracking. Roll out the community post. You guys know the drill by now, I'm sure. Hope you guys are doing well, though. What's up, Anurag? How are you, bro? Just give me a minute. George as well. I don't even want to... Right, listen, I saw that comment just as I tabbed off to put this post out. I don't want to hear it, man. Just give me a minute. Waffle Central. All right, hold on. Bear with me. Sorry, guys. I should do this. I wish there was a way I could sort of do this beforehand. There we go. Bang. Uh, I think we're good. There we go. Right. How are we doing, man? Reply. What's up, bro? We're a little bit earlier today. I'm going out later, so I had to get the early stream in. Let me get my stream tab out. There we go. We are golden, boys. Hope you guys are okay. You're getting slept? Nah, man. I think he's too durable for that. Think Jamal will win? Straight one, two down the pipe. That's the answer for me. He's just got to avoid those leg kicks. I think his fundamentals on the feet are actually going to help him. I would say objectively, Poatan's the best striker overall, but we're talking hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'm going Jamal Hill all day, man. Blueprint's on my side as well. See, you know. You know, good to see you, bro, as well. Hope you guys are good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We can get talking into that as well, because obviously I put that out the other day. Pretty cool, I have to say. It was a lot of work. I was pretty proud of the end result. Some stuff I missed, a lot of stuff I missed actually, but if I fit everything in, we'd probably be there for about a three hour video and I really didn't want to do that. So I tried to fit in which I felt was important on the fight front, but also culturally for the sport. Like I got a little bit of flack for talking about CM Punk, but I was like, yeah, it was a bad decision, but that's kind of why I'm talking about it. You know, it was important to talk about really the wider scale of where the UFC was going at the time. So I thought it was necessary, but hey. for the video, Chris Weidman thoughts. Yeah. Um, stupid. I don't know why he's defending it and acting like he didn't, you know, I poke him twice. You know, you, you should at least have the decency to, to acknowledge that you did what you did was wrong, especially someone who used to be a champion as a vet at the game. You know, I feel like you'd, most guys and girls would be able to actually, you know, be a bit understanding and say, shit, right, I fucked up. He ain't never felt Alex's power, especially that at light heavyweight. That's a fair point, but I don't know. I I don't know, man. Pro cooks one time, I think it's over. Just one left hook. No, I disagree. I think Jamal can take some good shots. He's very hard to hit as well. And Alex leaves his chin open, man. If Alex lands that left hook clean on his jaw. Yeah, I'm obviously everyone's saying it's ifs and buts though, isn't it? He put in power, no chin, Strickland, you overrating his power. I do think his power is overrated as well. I agree. Like, he's got good power and he's a bit of a sniper, but he's fighting upper weight class as well, keep in mind. And I don't know. He did put away Jiri, to be fair. If Hill connects one time, he sleeps Pereira, Hill can take his shots. No, I disagree on that. I do think Hill will outstrike him and I actually think he'll finish him, but I don't think he'll put him away with one shot. I think it will... I, I don't know, man. It's hard to say. I, if it was at middleweight, I'd agree with you, but it's not. His chin is is suspect, man, at middleweight. But light heavyweight, he took some of um, mine's gone blank. He took he took some of Jiri's best shots and took them well to his credit. So I think his chin is a lot better at light heavyweight. There's no secret there. So no, I don't I don't think he'll be able to put him away that quickly. I do think he will, but it'll be accumulation. Why well, really came for that one two eye hook? Yeah, I know it's crazy, isn't it? I think that's the first time we've seen that, right? What led you to go to... Sorry, I can't read. Sorry, Calvin. What led you to go for a YouTube career? That what, what did you use to do? Great videos. Thank you, Calvin. I haven't seen you in chat before, so I appreciate you being here. But I basically was doing my university degree 
in games production, so making video games, and it was fun. Didn't really want to do it for a career. I fell out of love with it, and in my final year, I was like, let's give YouTube a crack. I love MMA. And first two videos did like 100 views, then 200 views, then my third one did 100,000, and kind of just got into it. Can't lie. Got into a bit of a cycle of creating some content, and here we are making better stuff every week. So, yeah, pretty crazy. And that was what? A year and a half ago? So I'm pretty proud of the progress so far. You rooting for Hill? I'm not rooting for him. I just think he'll win. I don't really like the guy too much. I don't dislike him. In fact, I like Pereira more. But I think Jim is going to get the win. Everyone's obliged to their opinion. Exactly, Anna Ragman. Exactly. Hill can sleep in my life. Yeah, he can. I just don't think it'll be like a one shot, you know? Yeah, he's got a very good chin. I actually say uh, Jamal Hill's chin is probably one of the most underrated in the division. How's it going? Aaron, I'm good, man. I'm good. Hope you're well. I hope you enjoyed the video if you've watched it. I want to do talk about that in a little bit because I'm, I'm pretty proud of that project. I can't lie. You know, that 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 hour-long video, give or take, represents everything I've built up into my sort of YouTube journey so far over the last year and a half. So, um, yeah, pretty proud. I'm killing it. Nah, there's always guys doing better than me, but I appreciate it. I'm, I'm doing my best. Thank you. Is Yuri not Jerry? Ah, whatever. Tomato, tomorrow. Video, you said Jones finally found his match when he matched up against Reyes. Gustafsson and Erasure. Nah. No, I mean, I meant in more in... Gustafsson is a fair point. I, I can't believe I didn't even mention Gustafsson, to be honest. That's poor from me. But again, I said this. I, it's hard to fit everyone in, Dwayne. Um, I should have mentioned that, though, in hindsight. But I mean, like, it was a real robbery. I feel like with the Gustafsson fight, you could actually have put it given either way. You know? The Reyes fight for me was clearly Reyes. That's why I really it sort of emphasized that point, you know? Happy Easter Sunday. Yeah, man, happy Easter. I almost forgot about that. I'm not really... I don't really care too much about it. <laughs> What's up, Blackbeard? Good to see you again, man. Hope you're good. Type of fans video bang. Yeah, it did do well, which is kind of a shame, weirdly, weirdly because I mean it isn't, isn't, because it's one of my worst like, my not as good videos, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, it did really well. So there you go. That's that's YouTube sometimes. Early today, yeah, an hour earlier. Apologies for that. I have to uh, I, I said it on the Discord, but I probably should have put a post out. Um yeah, I'm going out later, so I had to uh <laughs> Yeah, you caught it on the Discord. Yeah, I had to, um, had to, I'm going out later, so I had to get this one in early. Same as last week, actually. He was the only person at 205 that can have any success against Pereira on the feet. I don't know, man. I think Pereira, the problem thing is Pereira, he's a lethal striker offensively, but his defense, he leaves his chin open a lot because he fights so wildly. So I don't know. I feel like other people could definitely catch him. I can't think of any off the top of my head, so maybe you're right, but. He'll sleep per and in one, one clean shot. Who knows? Listen, it's MMA. You know what I always say. Anything can happen, man. Shock, you didn't mention the Gustafsson fight. Yeah, I, I do apologize for that. There's a lot of stuff that just slips my mind. You've got to understand. If it, doesn't, if it doesn't even come up onto my head, then it's like I won't put it in. And I feel bad about it. Like, I didn't even realize I didn't even mention Amanda Nunes. Like, that's criminal from me. You know, she's one of the most influential people in the sport, and I didn't even give her a mention. So it's difficult, you know. I mean, there's loads I didn't put mention, you know. But I hope I hope the video as a whole was good either way for you. So that's why I, I just aimed to make something I was pretty proud of for the end of the day. As much as it was informative, you know. Bisping interview? Is that what... Oh, the, he, oh yeah, he looked... Yeah, he looked, his physique looked good. That's my biggest complaint with Jamal Hill. He's a guy who, out of camp, doesn't... He kind of lets himself go a little bit, you know. How's my line looking? I'm okay. Great side of out of UK, Bisping or Rocky. I think when all is said and done, it'll be between Aspinall and Leon. But Bisping obviously is a legend of the game. There's no, you know, I don't need to explain that. But in terms of pure fighting ability and actual and le like lasting legacy, when Leon and Aspinall both retired, I think it'll be either one of those two. They're so far ahead of the pack. I think Leon, I think both guys will dominate their divisions for a long time. I don't see any Leon being, Leon losing to anybody. I really don't. Calvin, how's your cousin K up, bro? That's so shit. Rakic can stand with Poatan, actually. No, yeah. I, I think Rakic will beat Jiri at 300, and I think he'll he'll beat Pereira if he's still got the belt. And I think him versus Jamal Hill, hypothetically, would be a very close fight. Roundtree does something with the boxing, gets picked apart with the leg kicks. Yeah, his Muay Thai is insane, man. I love, I'm a big Roundtree fan. He's shown real improvements to his game. A lot of people were debating, oh, you know, in the past, we've seen him sort of go to that next left up, step up in competition and sort of falter a bit. When he fought Anthony Smith, that was a step up. People might take the piss out of Anthony Smith, but it was a step up in competition. And he passed that test. So, 
Just got really active these days. Yeah, thanks to a certain few people. Good God. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, fucking hell. It gets pretty intense in there, I have to say. Again, I I'm, I apologize. I, I do my best to be active in there sometimes, but I'm listen, I've, I've got a life, you know. That sounds like I don't have a life if I go on Discord. I don't mean that. I just mean the stuff I've got to do, you know. But um, we're doing the casuals guide to 300. I'm starting writing on that tomorrow. So we're straight back in the saddle. Sunday, we're meant to do the podcast, but again, it has to be done tomorrow. Not out, not that's out, out of my hands. So apologies for that. Um, so yeah, we're doing that tomorrow and I'm starting the casuals guide to 300. So that will be out next week, next Friday. And after that, I haven't got any plans. So again, ideas would be great. Dustin Islam at 302 or Usman Strickland 2? Usman Strickland 2, I haven't heard nothing about that. Obviously, I've heard the Islam Dustin rumors. I'd be happy with that matchup all day, yeah. Blanche Fiora, thoughts? Size difference, bro. Manon looks very good. Could definitely be a champ. Video was great. It was great to see how the UFC shed the whole human cop fighting label. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I really wanted to hone in on that point. That's kind of why I talked about CM Punk in a way, because it sort of almost goes beyond that step of professionalism and then into the entertainment era that McGregor bought in, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It took me a stupid amount of time, as I said, but I'm proud of it. My best video by sure, for sure. Rakic Poatan will be tricky on the feet because Rakic can match Poatan's leg kick game. Poatan has the better leg kicks, Rakic having the harder kicks. Yeah, Rakic checking game though, Yarn fight. I mean, it's unfortunate for him. Everyone counts that as a loss, but it's almost like the Aspinall Blades fight. You know, he got injured early and that was it. Doesn't really count as a loss, to be honest. So people almost sleep in on Rakic a little bit, I think. Because he's not a huge name, you know, and he's kind of been out of the game a little bit. But you spam Gregor Gibson talk about terrible takes on Twitter. Yeah, that pretty much is it. 0203 at Featherweight? What do you mean? Why not? They don't have any fights booked. I heard some kind of rumors on IG. What, well, Usman Strickland? I'd be up for it, personally. I'm there for that. I think it makes sense. If Usman stays at middleweight, I think that fight makes sense. I mean, I wanted Usman Whitaker, but obviously he's booked against Shemaev, so, you know, we'll see. Main event last night sucked. Kwasim, yeah, it wasn't great. The whole card wasn't that great, to be honest. Aspinall Blaze shouldn't count, but Dustin Connor should. Well, no, the difference was Dustin was beating the fuck out of Connor. <laughs> Whilst Aspinall, you know, was, about, was literally 15 seconds into the fight. And I'm making an educated decision there, considering McGregor has never looked good going into the later rounds of his fights. The only one you could argue is against Nate Diaz in the rematch. And even then, he didn't look good. He looked extremely labored. You know, I name another fight where he's looked good late because he hasn't. So anything past round two and he's not looking good. So International Fight Week? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. When is that? Call me a casual. I don't even know the answer. Weird car because two fights ended two by two by O quote. Yeah, I mean, this is MMA, man. You never fucking know what you're going to get. At least we had a crowd. That's the silver lining to all of it. We didn't we weren't in a soulless apex center. I'm so tired of it, man. Tired of it. He won't lower though he deserves it because Izzy GDP is the money fight. Yeah, I thought that was gonna be for three hundred. I'm pretty sure they tried to make it for three hundred. For me, it makes sense. So hey. I'm a bit annoyed we didn't get that, but obviously I think Drickus was injured at the time. I undoubtedly think Pora is the best boxer in the UFC. It's aesthetically, he is. I'll say that. Holloway fight, you 30-27, Dim. I think, that's a, I think that's a bit of a bold claim. We're talking at the top level, which at the time, Holloway was not, and I don't think you can argue that. You know? <laughs> I think, you know, if that was Holloway now, or Holloway in a, like, a few years ago when he was champ, I would say, yeah, fair point. But come on, man. Anyway, that's a three-round fight. It's, it's no secret McGregor is not good past the second round I don't think that's that's quite clear you know I don't think there's there's anything in that I don't think you could say Poirier wasn't going to beat McGregor in that in that third third fight personally if Poirier ain't the best boxer than who is yeah it's a fair point Holloway's up there everyone says oh Volkanovski's a better boxer than Holloway because he outstruck him he's not a better boxer he's a better striker maybe not a better boxer so Poirier's up there yeah great shout definitely now 303 is the beginning of July yeah, I, I'm losing track now. Honestly, I don't know what's happening with the UFC, man. 04, ain't that the UK pay-per-view? It might be, or maybe it's 06. Who knows, man? Oh, no, it's in July, isn't it? Yeah, it'll probably be about 04. I, don't, I would go to that, but I'm hearing rumors that it's in Manchester. So, probably won't go. Because I'd have to travel up there, and trains are stupid expensive. 
I'd also have to get tickets, which would be stupid expensive. And I'd also have to pay for, you know, a hotel or something, which would also be stupid expensive. So I'd probably be paying over a grand just for the whole thing when I really, really don't want to do that. So I'll see what the card's looking like. If the card's good, I'll consider it. And it's probably going to be good because it's a pay-per-view. And they'll, I'm sure Aspinall and Leon will both be on it. So, 3 is the beginning of June? I don't even know, man. See, this schedule, I don't even keep track of anything. You guys know more than me. Dustin, Max, Yarn, JDM, Taporia. That's a good list, man. I don't know about that order. I'd probably put Taporia over JDM. That's a, I mean, it's not so much. They're all elite, so... Anyways, bro, I just tuned in to say hi. It's all love, Aaron, man. Have a great stream. I'm sure we will. Look forward to your next vid. Gotta go. Good luck with your exam, man. I hope it's all right. Good luck, good luck, good luck. You have my blessing, bro. Connor won the third versus Khabib. Sure, and then what happened in the fourth? Have you seen that picture of him in the fourth round? Gassed out beyond belief. I mean, look at him in the Nate Diaz fight in the first fight, Nate Diaz fight. And don't say he didn't have a camp because he did have a full camp. He was training for RDA, if I'm not mistaken. You know? And he was gassed in the second round against Diaz. I mean, come on. You can't sit here and say McGregor has good cardio because he doesn't. Phil JDM is better offensive boxing than Taporia, but Taporia is slightly better defense than JDM. I actually disagree with that. JDM has no power. Yeah, he finished uh, Burns, but it was with a beautifully timed knee. It weren't with his hands. I think JDM's power is very overrated. Technically brilliant. I just wish he put more into his punches. I really do. Yeah, man, you got to stop and ride in Connor's meat, man. RDA and Nate are not the same fighter, man. Come on. RDA's got great cardio. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, they both got great cardio. And anyway, you train for five rounds anyway. You don't train expecting to beat them in the first. You train for five rounds. We're not talking power, though. We're talking skills. Well, I guess that come. I feel like that kind of falls part of it, you know? I don't know. Proving that McGregor's underrated. He's not underrated. McGregor is... How can you say McGregor's underrated when he's Conor McGregor? He's the face of the fight game. You can't call him underrated. He's If, if any, anything, he's overrated at a minimum. Do you know what I mean? He has to... At, I mean, at a maximum, he's overrated. That's it. Like, there is no level where he, he should be considered an underrated. He's the first belt person to hold two belts simultaneously. You can't call McGregor underrated. RDA don't get tired of his age and it's crazy. Exactly. What are you talking about? RDA is a different fighter. Yeah, they are. Doesn't, doesn't make a difference. Connor still gassed out against Diaz. And he was training for RDA. Hell, if he didn't even finish RDA in that, in, if that fight ever went ahead, I probably would have given RDA a good crack at winning it. So... Power balls into athleticism. Yeah, I suppose. But it's also fighting style. You might have good power, but you might not necessarily use it if you fight technically. So, JDM has pillow hands. Yeah, I actually, I, I do think he's had pillow hands. I think it's a little bit harsh, but he hasn't got much power. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely agree with that. But he's good at, he's very good at getting finishes. He just does. So, you know, that shows you how good his skills are because he's able to put people away without the power. Yeah, it, it, I listen, we can go back and forth on that. All day. I mean... So, listen, I feel like in terms of skill level, at least with the men's, we're at the highest it's ever been. You know, the level of some of these guys is just insane. So, top five all-time strikers. I've done this so many times. I mean, half of those guys you listed in the boxes are up there. I'd probably put Adesanya in there. Hmm. I feel like Adesanya has to be in there. Addison Silva has to be in there. They're, they definitely make it, in my opinion, those two. I mean, throw some names out there for me. I'm drawing blanks right now in my brain. RDA is 5'8", 70 inch reach, orthodox. Nate is 6 foot, 76 inch reach and a southpaw. How are they saying? I'm talking in terms of like cardio. You're like, you're saying, oh yeah, but McGregor fought Diaz and he lost because Nate has great cardio. And as if you're saying that's if RDA doesn't. They both have better cardio than Connor. Silver, Wonderboy, Izzy O'Malley, Poitain. I think it's a bit too soon to say O'Malley. Definitely could be in the conversation when all is said and done though. Poatan I disagree with. Great striker offensively, but defensively not very good. He gets clipped a lot. For kickboxing, yeah, but I think what makes Izzy a better striker is the fact that defensively he's so sound and he's able to just neutralize everybody else a bit more better than Poatan can, in my opinion. 
completely different. And Connor was schooling Nate in the first, and then made the mistake of shooting. Mate, he was shooting because he, he got he got clipped of the one two and was gassed to high hell. So he shot a takedown. He panic shot because he got his shit rocked. I'm sorry, that's that's a crazy take, bro. What do you mean? Connor was not schooling him, bro. That is insane. If he was schooling him, why did he get absolutely clipped by a one two and then panic shot a takedown? That doesn't sound like getting schooled for me. That sounds like shooting for a double leg because you're gassed out and you just got rocked to shit. So I don't know how you could say that. If Connor never shoots the takedown, he wins a decision. That is that is mental. He was done on the feet. Are you crazy? That's ridiculous. Aldo's an underrated striker. Yeah. I, I don't know if I'd say underrated. If anything, I'd probably say he's fairly rated. He's very good and everyone knows it, I think. Actually, I probably, I think underrated to the casual fan base, I agree, because obviously he's just known to the casuals as the guy who lost to McGregor. Because obviously anyone who watches the sport knows he's far more than that. So to a casual fan base, I'd agree. But to, you know, people who actually watch the sport regularly, I think he's pretty fairly rated. Oh, Mali beats Prime Connor? Nah, man. Too early for that. I mean, it's, again, the size difference. I don't know what they look like. If you size them up at featherweight, I'm curious to see what they'd look like. That was in the second, Leo. Come on. Which one? What, McGregor panic shooting? What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know what you mean. Don't remember O'Malley getting hit a lot early in these fights. Yeah, he doesn't. It's because his distance control is so good. What Tim Welch has done with him as a coach, they are a brilliant pair together. I'm sorry. They are very, very good. O'Malley is leveled up massively, man. And Chio was never on his level, but I think you put even the best strikers at that weight class against him and they struggle. His distance management is so good. And the pace he sets is unbelievable. Did that exact thing in the rematch. Won the first, was winning the second. Got caught, but still won. Lost the third one, fourth, lost fifth. Okay. Every fight is different. <laughs> and Nate was pouring it on late. Like, I'm sorry. There's no guarantees he won that. I mean, McGregor won a majority decision. It was a close fight in the rematch. I'm sorry, no, I, I'm not entertaining the fact that if he didn't shoot the takedown in that first fight with Diaz, he would have won. I think that's absurd. Second round of the first fight. Yeah, I know. That's what you said. You said he would have won the fight if he didn't panic shoot. That's what you said, unless I'm mistaken, right? Connor was schooling Nate in the first and then made the mistake of shooting. Yeah, and you're saying if he never shot the takedown, he wins a decision like he did in the second fight, which is complete bullshit. Tim Welch makes me want to work with him. Hey, a bit sus there, bro. <laughs> nah, he seems like a cool guy. I'd actually, one day in the far future, I'd love to get him on the pod, man. He seems like, I'd love to pick his brain about his philosophy of coaching because it's just fascinating. Awesome guy. I'd, lo I'd love to have a chat with him. Because he seems, he seems to, we actually mentioned this on the pod. I think it might have been on the episode we didn't record or we didn't put out because it, it was working properly. But we talked a lot about Tim Welch and just his style of coaching focuses a lot on the mental side of things and mental preparation. Because you're never 100% going into a fight. And I think that, that was really interesting. I think that's half the reason why Sean O'Malley has so much success. Please leave retired fighters alone and talk about active ones. <laughs> Matino fight, O'Malley doesn't get tired. Well, in a way, I can draw the comparison there between O'Malley and, and um, Matino and Chito is that they were kind of just punching bags for, you know, 15 or 25 minutes. So that definitely adds some to it as if that wasn't they didn't take much back. So that, that that's definitely a factor. But O'Malley's pace is definitely very good. I'm not going to dispute that at all. He gets the heavy leg kick at, kick at two. Mm, yeah. I like what he did with O'Malley too. You took that the wrong way. Yeah, no, I'm joking, bro. I'm joking. Connor won the decision in the second. And did he or did he not shoot a takedown? No, in the first fight, did he shoot a takedown? Yes, he got... That logic makes absolutely no sense. He shot a takedown because he was rocked in the first fight. <laughs> he probably wouldn't have shot a takedown if he didn't get his shit rocked. Hells, what's up, man? Yeah, two waves shaking it up, man. That's your signature, bro. That's your signature. I hope you're good, bro. Yeah, I mean, I I, I think that's absurd. That's an absurd take. That's your worst take you've ever had, bro. Win a decision if he never shot a takedown in the second round. That's I, just crazy, bro. Got to go. Bye. It's all love, Blackbeard. Hope you have a good one, man. Have a good rest of your day or night, even in morning, wherever you're at, bro. Clocks went forward last night. I can't lie. I was watching the UFC last night. I just was in the trenches. <laughs> I was in the trenches, man. Woke up so late today. Okay, in general, got sick for the last few days, I imagine you're saying, for some reason. Nah, I know how it is, man. I'm, I'm pretty blessed that I don't get sick too much, touch wood. But when I do, it's like fucking awful. I know the pain, bro. I hope you're okay. 
Caught and rocked in the second fight, in the second round as well. Still won the fight, it's obvious. No well. Oh, camera did freeze. Oh, shit, boys. Hold up. Hold up, boys. Again, man. What is... It did this on the pod, you know. I don't know why. It's so weird. Hold up. Hold up. I'm here. I'm here. Not just like last time, man. This is so annoying. There we go. Let's put that back. I think we're good there. Oh, exposed. Docs myself. Oh, no. There we go. Are we back, boys? We're back. <laughs> we're back. Nate was too scared to come to 155 to fight Connor. No. Come on. How was he going to cut that amount of weight on short notice, bro? I'm pretty sure the first fight was at 155, right? I know the second was at welterweight, but wasn't the first one at 155? Maybe I'm wrong here. Yeah. I'll be happy to be proven wrong. Uh... Oh, it was at welterweight the first one. Fair enough. Still, I mean, that's probably because he was on, like, short notice, bro. You can't cut that weight that quick. Then don't take the fight. What do you mean? Why wouldn't you take the fight? <laughs> I don't understand. You can say the same thing about Connor, bro. I, I don't know. Why, why is that even a point? Nate beat him. <laughs> like, what? Connor accepted it as well. So it's just as much on Connor as it is Nate. I don't know how you can twist that there. Last night was so weird for fights, but at least it was something different in general. I'm just happy there was a crowd there. That's all I care about. Should be on every event. Don't take the fight. Oh, you said that already. Um, if you can't, can't wait to the division, don't fight him, bro. <laughs> I don't know. What you, I don't know. What you say UFC offer him the fight, offer him the McGregor fight, which he'd asked for before. Keep in mind, Connor says yes. You're not gonna not take it. Best American channel. I'm from England. I <laughs> I can't tell if you're joking or not. Top five strikers for me right now. O'Malley, Wonderboy. Right now, bro. I don't know. O'Malley, Wonderboy, Poatan, Muay Thai, Max, and Sandman. Sandhagen's up there. Great shout. Underrated, bro. Underrated striker. Oh, shit, something in my eye, boys. Jesus. I'm just crying. I've got an eye poke. I think Weidman just eye poked me, man. Jesus Christ. Oh. He's not even apologizing. He's just celebrating like he's won the fight. Damn. <laughs> Connor was already doing his cut to 155 and that to bulk to 170. Guys rehydrate every week. Obviously, there's uh, they rehydrate the night before the fight. They don't walk around that weight when they fight. Obviously, it does affect you a little bit. But that's just as much down to McGregor is for taking that fight. He didn't have to take the fight if he didn't want to, did he? He shares half of that responsibility. <laughs> Best Asian YouTuber. <laughs> African YouTuber. I'll take all of it, boys. I can't lie. Call me Mike Perry. Oh my god, Weidman's actually poking the fuck out of me right now. What is happening? Jesus. Ugh. It's a dust or some shit. Oh, as I said, the ghost of Daniel Cormier against Stipe Miocic. Jesus. Have you guys talked about Weidman spinning? Yeah. <laughs> we talked about it, man. Yeah, rough. The fact he's claiming it as some sort of victory shows he's clinging on to that, isn't he? Superstar with 40, but he will come the day. Oh, Sandhagen. Yeah, Sandhagen will be the, will get the belt in sometime, I think. All-time wrestlers. Mm. That DC. Khabib. I think you put Mahachev in there, but that might be a little bit too soon. Maybe Randy Couture or something. I don't know. There's a lot of good shouts. How do you think Leon will hold the title? Josh, for a very long time. <laughs> A very long time. I don't see anyone beating him, man. I really don't. Mahachev may be the only guy who could beat him. And he'd have to move up. I generally don't see anyone at Worldwide beating him. Not a single person. It ended nil-nil. Uh, yeah, I watched most of the game before I jumped on the stream. Fucking awful. Awful game. So dull. GSP? Yeah, GSP's a shout. Bo, too soon for him, man. But he he's great, though. He'll, he's very good. Liverpool fan? <laughs> yeah, I bet you are loving that. He was doing well, but the eye was like, okay. Yeah, I mean, crazy. Jones out wrestled DC, though. Yeah, but you could say that about any of these guys. Like, as, as I said, I still think Holloway's a better boxer than Volkanovski, even though Volkanovski beat him up. It's like, you know, it's, it's not, it's got, it doesn't, your legacy isn't necessarily defined by one fight, you know? 
I, I still say DC is a better wrestler than Jones. It's just it's just as much a stylistically thing, you know. Leon's stand-up game is a beautiful thing to watch. I agree, man. I love watching him fight. Jane Lee is one of the just make striking look like art, you know. We we'll chat about you bottling two leads versus Burnley, but I can't chat right now. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we don't talk about the Burnley game, man. I'm tired of watching Chelsea. It's tough, man. How's that? Um. I mean, yeah, if you're talking just wrestling, he's in that conversation, for sure. Very good. Usman as well. Listen, there's loads of good shouts. I probably wouldn't say Usman purely on the fact that his his wrestling is good and his control is good, but he's not very offensive with it. It doesn't lead to very many finishes. All his finishes have come on the feet, which is to his credit, but you know they haven't been as a, as a result of the striking necessarily. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't say Usman. Yoel, good shout. Garns a heavyweight, won the boys in my number six for strikers. Nah, overrated. Aspen's a better striker than Garn. We've had we've had this one before. Chandler, yeah, good shout. Are you if you're talking for wrestling, yeah. There's better ones than him though. He's definitely not top five. Listen, for wrestlers, there's so many. So, so many. I mean. Hmm, I'm trying to think of who else. Keep keep chucking names at me. I mean. Nah, Colby's definitely not on that list. I don't even know why that name even came into my head. No way does Colby get in. Good wrestler, not a great one. I mean, well, great by UFC standards. He's great in terms of overall, but by UFC standards, he's not a great. If Yo didn't have to have his massive neck fused or whatever, he would be spinning people around. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's that classic Joe Rogan clip of him talking about Yoel going to see a doctor and the doctor saying he's like a genetic freak, just naturally. Like, he, he, his like, bones had, like, healed or some shit in, like, Five times quicker than anyone else's you'd ever seen, which is insane. Alvarez and under and Chandler is overrated. That is a very good take, Ivan. I completely agree. Eddie Alvarez is one of the most underrated fighters ever, in my opinion. Have you seen his resume? It's unbelievable. <laughs> He's unbelievable. He was realistically, you obviously got a DQ against or a no contest against Poirier in their first fight, but he was beating the shit out of him. Let's not get it twisted. And he beat up Justin Gaethje. Eddie Alvarez is very good. Aspinall, definitely not a better striker. He barely throws kicks. What do you mean, man? He threw like two two or three kicks against Pavlovich before he put him away. 100% Aspinall. Aspinall is a great, is a better striker than Garn. Garn picks him apart a distance. No way in hell, man. No, absolutely no way. Sorry, man. I've we, I been with you this whole stream until now. Aspinall's footwork is better than Garn's. His hands are better than Garn's. I'd say Garn's just kicking his game is overall better, but that doesn't, you know, that's one part. I think Aspinall is, is just better everywhere than gone. Catches him coming in with the boxing. No, I think Aspinall would just take him down and sub him. I really do. I think he'd probably like, arm triangle him or something. Colby, best wrestler? Nah, man, come on. Matt Riddell, because he beat John Jones like two decades ago. Wait, what? Are you getting mixed up with Matt Hamill? Or am I stupid? Obviously, the Matt Hamill one was a DQ. I'm looking this up right now. Oh, was it in wrestling, isn't it? Yes, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, that's valid. That's valid. Aspinall better boxing. Garn better striking. Nah. I think Aspinall's better in both. But, you know, there's a good chance we see that match. So maybe we'll have those questions answered, man. Maybe we will. Oh, shit. Just drop my shit. Hold up, boys. There we go. Connor lands at a clean left on Dustin. The whole game changes. I mean, he land Connor landed some flush shots on Dustin and he was fine. So I'm going to dispute that. Trying to get more into the UFC, and I love your vids. Appreciate that, man. Do you think you'd ever do more videos where you make predictions and after the fight break it down? Probably not, because it's just not my style of content. But we do it on the podcast. We tend to do our predictions on the podcast, which normally comes out every Sunday, but we've been a bit of a mess since Will, my co-host, is in Thailand, so time zones have been a mess, basically. Um, but I'm there's, listen, I've been talking maybe rumors about starting a talking channel, and maybe I'd do it on there. Again, that's far future talk. At the moment, the main channel is my first love is storytelling. You know, that's what I want to keep doing. So probably not. But I we always discuss predictions and what we think about fights on streams. That's kind of the place for it on here. So Tuesday and Sunday, the streams is where we can kind of just chat MMA casually. And it's not, you know, my usual style of content. So it means, it means I can have a proper conversation with you guys, which is what I always wanted to do. That's kind of the downside to doing making the stuff I make is it's not very present conversation, you know. So the live streams give me an opportunity to do that. Yeah, in a wrestling match in college, yeah. That's that picture, isn't there? I'm on the podium. I saw that the other day. Aspinall's probably the biggest fighter John Jones is afraid, and he's supposed to be the GOAT. Yeah, I think Aspinall beats him. I've said that many a time. I don't think John Jones doesn't want any part of that fight. 
Got to go. Good night. It's all I reply. I know it's late where you're at. Have a good one. What's the podcast? It's the MMA Creators Podcast. It should be. If you just go on my channel, it will be there. There'll be two. There'll be the Clips channel and then the main one. You can check it out on there. We put out an episode recently, but it was it was late as hell because an absolute nightmare of stuff I don't want to get into. Predictions in your casuals guide videos? I could do that, to be fair. Right at the end. No harm in that. That's a good point. Maybe I will. Top five best wrestlers right now. No debate. Islam, Hamza, Bo, Ikram, Chandler. Chandler's not in the top five. The other ones I'm pretty happy with, though. Full-time? I mean, I'm not doing anything else right now, but I still wouldn't consider myself full-time. I don't work full-time hours. Um, I still work a lot, just not... Actually, do I? Maybe I do. I don't know. I don't really I don't really count it. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm not doing anything else right now. But I'm just saving money right now because I'm trying to move out. I, at least, yeah, I, only, I graduated in June last year, so... Or July. So, <laughs> not, not, that, not that much time out of uni. But hopefully this will become something that's viable. And slowly it is. So we're getting there. And I'm pretty happy. And listen, I had a lot of people telling me that it was a waste of time. A, like a lot of people telling me it was a load of bullshit when I was at uni. And I just should just stop and focus on my degree. And I did both. And it worked out fine. So it's whatever. Listen, I remember a bit of a rad, random story, side tangent. I, I might have mentioned this before. But I remember, I think probably like November last year. Or no, November 2022, sorry. When I basically my first month or two in and I hit 64 subscribers and I was eating like lunch uh, at university just with some of my friends. And I was just like so excited about hitting 64 subscribers for some reason that number sticks out to me. And then uh, fast forward three months and I was on a thousand. <laughs> and now we're on what, 18,000 and something. So pretty crazy ride, man. Anyway, Vi uh, what, Weidman? Oh, my German. Weidman, Benson Henderson, the first fighters I saw fight. Look at the resume of Weidman. Good fight uh, yesterday. <laughs> yeah, bit bit low from him. No, I didn't expect it from a guy like Weidman. I can't lie. Honestly, I didn't expect... I thought he would have the integrity to sort of accept his... his you know, accept he made a mistake. Garn would pick up Aspinall apart a distance. Aspinall can catch him with the boxing. He has quicker hands. Garn has quicker feet. I disagree with that. I think Aspinall is faster than him too. I mean, listen, I mean, you can promise and I can say I think this and that, but until we see him fight, we won't know. So, Gamrot, his wrestling is good. Yeah, that's a good point. Needs to be more offensive in those positions. Yeah, same problem that Usman has. Benson Anderson is very underrated. I wouldn't say Weidman's underrated. I think Weidman's always pretty fairly rated. Missed last stream, but I got time today. That's good, man. I mean, I'm going to be on for another 25 minutes odd before I got to bounce because I got to go. I'm going out for dinner. So... But I'm glad you're here, Porn. It's good to see you, man. Sorry, I was a little bit earlier. I did say on the Discord, but I only sort of briefed it, briefly mentioned it in passing comments. So apologies for that. I should actually make, I should should have put a post out there. I said that earlier. I should have done. Some moments build up, can't get big without starting out small. Yeah, exactly, man. I mean, listen, I had, when I first started, I had a few like videos that did really well. My Casuals Guide series when I first started blew up and it really sort of lit the fuse for my channel. And I really took it for granted a lot. And I had early success. You know, it was pretty crazy. At one point, I gained like a thousand subscribers in a week or something stupid. And I was like, holy shit, man. And then what happened was I, I sort of realized, you know, I, when I started, my channel started declining a bit, which it was going to, because obviously that amount of views wasn't sustainable for how small my channel was. And it stopped. And that sort of Big view count dip stopped for about four or five months straight last year, probably from like April to September. I know some of you guys were sticking around, but most of my views, I think I didn't get a single video that cracked 10, 10K views, you know? And I thought about quitting, man. Um, and I was never gonna, but you know, I was getting, I was in a shit mood. Because if your channel's doing shit, you're in a shit mood. And I was just like, you know, I took it all for granted. I realized then I was taking the early success I had for granted. And I didn't again. And then I started having good performing videos. And then I had some bad ones, but the bad ones, I was reacting differently this time, you know? So I'm different place mentally with it. But now we're doing good, so I'm happy. Even if the new video slowed down, my new video slowed down a lot, but I'm still keeping faith in it. I think it's going to pick back up in a week or two as 300 builds up, and I'm I'm excited, man. That's awesome. Keep it going. Now, thank you, man. Listen, plenty of plenty of stuff left to go. I'm glad to have you along for the ride. Shavkat is good wrestling too. Ah, uh, yeah, Good. I would just like to see him get proved against another wrestler, really. Umar, yeah, I forgot about Umar. Yeah, Umar's above Chandler all day of the week, man. Yeah, CM Punk's up there. <laughs> Five wrestler. You said, yeah, you said Chandler, didn't you? Which is an L take, man. Probably the best base in MMA. Um, it may be, Carlo. 
Maybe. Grover's been impressed and wholesome to see, man. I'm happy to be here. I appreciate it. Listen, you guys are the OGs. I say this all the time. You guys in the stream every week, you know, you guys go the extra mile. So I appreciate that so much more than you can ever know. And listen, as I said, I said 100K in three years time <laughs> last year, <laughs> which is obviously a crazy goal. But listen, you have to set crazy goals. You just do. Even if you don't reach them, you can't be too disappointed with it because, you know, like you're like, oh, I was never going to get there anyway. I said I'd hit 20K by the end of 2023. Of course that didn't happen. But I got to like 13 and I was pretty fucking happy with that in a year's time, in a year's you know, a year's time of making content, I got to 13,000 subs. I was pretty happy with that. And that was in December. Well, we were on 12,000 even. I don't think it was 13. I think it was 12,000. And, you know, we're now we're on 18,000 in March. So, hey, we're going good, man. We're going good. Trials and Tribulations is the best base. I think just being a genetic freak might be one of them. D Did I forgot in my number five spot? You said Chandler. You said Chandler. Armand's a good shout as well. CM Punk, best WWE wrestler. Turns to UFC World Away. Yeah, you can't argue with that. You can't argue. <laughs> you can't argue. He is the best. It's like when people say that uh, Heskey had a, has a better Premier League legacy than uh, Messi, which is true because Messi never played in the Premier League. What can you say? But yeah, man. I mean, we got... Listen, I say this all the time, but the channel's going to be in a big place this year. We've got a lot of cool shit going. I don't know. If you guys have any video ideas, hit me up with it. Stories you want me to tell... Shit, you want me to... That, that's the key, really. It's, oh, if there's some stories I want to tell, I want to make sure it's on someone who deserves to be told. I don't know. There's so many I could do, to be fair. I'm not going to do a Pereira one, because I did one not that long ago. Mighty Mouse, maybe. It's been done a lot. I did, as I said, I'd always said I'd do a Mighty Mouse uh, doc. I've said it on the stream many times. I don't know what I'm going to do, but... Hmm... I mean, I don't, it doesn't have to be, necessarily have to be on individual fighters either. I might do um, a seven, seven Heavenly Virtues one as well. That's a shout. Because that last one did quite well. The Seven Deadly Sins one. So I'll, I'll definitely consider that. Top five grapplers, super easy. Oliveira, Islam, Burns, Hamzat, Shavkat. Shavkat doesn't make it in there, man. No way. He's good. I say no way. Actually, that is a bit harsh. I don't think Burns gets in there. When's the last time Burns has got a sub in MMA, man? No way. Good, good. Very good jiu-jitsu practitioner. But in MMA, no. Not as much. I, listen, he's an elite jiu-jitsu jiu practitioner. Elite. One of the best. But Oliveira is a better example because Oliveira translates to MMA much better. Can argue KSI has a better misfix boxing legacy than Floyd Mayweather? Yeah, you can't. Yeah, well, yeah, that's it. It's, it's undisputable. That's how it is. There we go. Cool. Memory Stereo, most deadly fighter, bro. <laughs> Mate, he's 619, bro. Burns was back in January of 2023 against Neil Magny. Oh, shit. Did he sub Magny? Why don't I even remember that? What the hell? I just didn't even... Honestly, if you never told me that fight happened, I would have never known. I'm pretty sure I watched it as well. Can't say that Hamzat couldn't sub him and Burns made him afraid to go to the ground with him. Plus, look, it's a couple of he's top three. I think that's a... Bit generous. Bit generous. If you're talking just pure jiu-jitsu practitioners, he'd be in that list for sure. Is it more dangerous than Anderson Silva or Rey Mysterio? <laughs> Definitely, bro. Emerson Ray, I was a... Yeah, okay. I don't know if that's true. I'm pretty sure Pele probably played at Wembley at one point. At least the old one. Could be wrong, but who knows. Yeah, man. Listen... Yeah, I mean, Burns in that list is hard. Is it bit bit? I I wouldn't put him there. Charles is definitely number one though. For yeah, if we're talking translating to pure finishing ability, you have to put Charles as number one. You just do. He's just predatory like that, in an MMA way, not any other way. Pause, obviously. Damn, I'm just looking at Patrick Guyver's channel, man. That brother is killing it, bro. His Hamzat Shemaya video is on three and a half million views, bro. Three and a half million. Absolutely insane, bro. Shavkat's better than Pantoja on the ground. No. No. I think they're just too far apart in weight classes to compare because flyweight is at such a different... It's just at his own sort of realm, you know? 
Jamal by decision. I, I, yeah, I think Jamal will win. Well, whichever way that is, and he, uh, I don't know. But I think Jamal will win as well. Football team must support. I'm a Chelsea fan, brother. It's tough times for us right now. <laughs> tough times for us, Liam, bro. Tough times. Gerald Mearshart has a be bunch of subs. Yeah, GM3, bro. Underrated as well. Very underrated shout. Only gets up there at the top, but he's very good. Don't see the video. You'll regret. Which one? Actual best grapplers. De Bronx, Islam, Pantoja, Hamza, Aspinall. That's a good list. I don't think you can put Aspinall in there. I think on ability he probably is, but we haven't seen him like sub enough people because he knocks most of them out. I mean, he's, what, has he got two subs? He subbed Arlovsky and Volkov, right? Anyone else? In the, am I missing there? I don't think so. Yeah, he, he he's knocked out everyone else. Hamza is wildly overrated. His cardio is... I mean, I wouldn't even say his cardio is overrated. I think everyone knows his cardio is not very good. I don't think he's overrated, though. Yeah, he is yet to prove himself. But I think they're, they're glaring holes that everybody knows. So I don't think that makes him overrated. I think he's just fairly rated now. 619, a guy and kill him crazy. <laughs> what, Anderson Silva? <laughs> or he just really talking about Rey Mysterio? He, did he... Did he Wait, Rey Mysterio did that to Anderson Silva? Or you just sent to a random guy? <laughs> Forget, yeah, I will, bro. <laughs> Top five was Oliveira, Islam, Hamza, Pantoja, Brent. Brent, nah, get out of here, man. Brendan Allen, come on, bro. No. Current strikers, Poatan, Strik Strickland, Ilya, Dustin, Yarn. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you put Yarn in there. I don't even know if you put Strickland in there, man. I can't lie. Just you, You're just talking just because Strickland beat Adesanya does not make him a better striker than Adesanya. I don't understand that logic. Just because one guy beat the other. It's a stylistic thing. Adesanya is a better striker than Sean Strickland. Does Alexa Grass have aura? I think she kind of does, you know. Sounds weird. I feel like she does. If you're a big boxing guy, boy, Roy Romero went outside yesterday. Bro, I don't watch boxing a lot, but I saw a clip of his post-fight interview. Bro, what the hell are they doing interviewing him there? A guy's concussed beyond belief, Arthur. Good to see you, by the way. Um, yeah, <laughs> mental, absolutely mental. Brendan Allen is really good in terms of his current division. Yeah, but top, putting him top five grapplers is mental, mate. Absolutely stupid. Jan, Ilya, Dustin, and Strickland aren't even strikers. They're all heavy boxers. They're still a striker, mate. Strickland is good. He uses his boxing to outstrike a striker. Yeah, he is good. But we're talking who's a better striker overall. Adesanya is a better striker. He's beaten more people. His style was much harder to deal with, as much, as difficult as Strickland is as well. That's no discredit to him. Adesanya is a better. I don't even want to hear that. I don't want to hear anyone saying Strickland is a worse, is a better striker than Adesanya because he's not. Yes, he beat him, and stylistically he beat him beautifully. It was a brilliant performance, and I think he'd probably beat him again if they fought. But styles make fights. Whoever wins between Alexa and Shevchenko ain't losing anytime soon. I actually disagree with that. I disagree with that a lot actually. Where's uh, is. Aaron Branchfield uh, Fu and Fioro, they're at Flyweight. I think Fioro gives either of those girls a really tough time. They're at Flyweight, aren't they? I'm, am I casual right now? Yeah, they are Flyweight. I think Fioro gives either of those girls a very tough time. Shevchenko's old. If you talk about Prime Shevchenko, it's not close, of course, but Shevchenko's getting on, man. Joe Rogan had to get that interview after a proper beating. <laughs> Joe Rogan style. Yeah, like the McGregor one. That's fucking hilarious. Shooting's the better boxer than Adesanya. Yeah, I'll, I'll concede that. But better striker? No way, man. Why didn't he outstrike him? Because stars make fights, bro. If you put if you put both of them against 100 identical people, Strickland would do worse than Adesanya would. Whichever those competitors are, it doesn't matter. Point is, Adesanya, his style and the way he fights lends itself to more success than Strickland does. And look at their legacies. Strickland didn't defend the belt once. Dricus de Plessis beat him up. You know, so it proves my point. Stars make fights. You can beat Adesanya and lose to uh, lose to Drickers Duplessis. Uh, so I'm going off really on legacies and how effective their style and their level of striking has been in their career. And Adesanya's is clearly much better. Sure, only only won that fight because he's dumb ass for injured. No, no way. I think if you fought them, if they both were 100 percent in their camps and they took each other seriously, I still think Strickland beats him. Without looking, guess where Pennington is in the power for pound rankings. The truth will shock you. What, like overall power for pound or women's power for pound? I don't know. I'm going to go like fourth if we're talking women's. Do they? I don't even know. Do they do a combined anymore? I can't even know. I can't. I, honestly, I don't even remember. 
No, they don't do a. They don't do. They do women's pound for pound, don't they? She's number one. No, she's got to be. Oh my god, she's seventh. <laughs> that's kind of disrespectful, but it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I to be honest, that's a fair list. I'd put any of them above her. I put Tatiana Suarez and Nami Yunus above her. I don't think that's. I think that's pretty fair. I think it's a bit generous. I it's kind of harsh because you know the. We're going off conventional. You put them quite high after they win the belt, but he fought injured in first Poatan fight to Strickland fight. That's why he took a break. Yeah, but I, for me, I, if you put them in their best abilities, I still think they lose. Just, Adesanya loses to Strickland. It's just a stylistic matchup, man. Oh my God, I'm so dark. Hold up. See, I lost the light. Hang on, let me bring this up for you guys. Oh, that's too much. Is that good? I'm just checking. Looking at the delay right now. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. See, it's slowly getting darker here. Manon Fiora is just especially muscular. She's massive for flyweight, bro. That weight color, rough. But hey, she made the weight and she looked good. Yeah, I think she can, for sure. Israel is especially, you know, but Alex Perez is dad. Well, you say that, but Israel beat him. So, I don't know. I wouldn't say that. Um, I'm taking Sean and current Izzy. Nah. I don't know. It's, it's, honestly, I don't know how that fight goes if we do it again. It was coming in late. Yeah, you're all you're good. You got them. We're in. We're gonna be on for another ten minutes or so. You're good, Evan. Don't worry. Did you see the Luke fight as well? Strange card. Uh, yeah. He just ever since he had that brain bleed, man, he hasn't looked very good. What happened to my hair? Shut up, Alex. Shut up as well. Uh, Izzy is he if Izzy is near recovered, he smoked strictly in a new match solely with the strike, and he fought with comprised leg or legs. No, no way. The, the pressure of Strickland stylistically just lends itself to success against the kickboxer like Adesanya. So I don't see him beating him. Adesanya beating him again, personally. How's your woman's band and weight champ going to be seventh? It's just the level of competition, really. How is Harrison going to look on weight day? I don't know if she'll make it, to be honest. I really don't. I don't know how she's going to make band and weight. I think she'll probably miss weight, fight anyway, and then win. Cole Palmer has us on his back this season. Yeah, he does, man. <laughs> We're in the trenches. Pena striking. Yeah, that is rough. Oh, oh, Aaron Blanchfield has Pena striking. Yeah, that's, that was a good comparison, actually. I was scared that Luke was going to clip Buckley, but he did well. I mean, he's top 15 now, isn't he? Looking quite good, I have to say. He definitely won't. I don't think he'll crap top five, but he'll be up there. He'll be up there. If Izzy loses the rematch, he'll probably retire. No. Nah. I mean, what? I don't think Izzy's going to fight Strickland again, to be honest. The Drickers fight is the one that's going to get made. That's got the storyline behind it, doesn't it? So, many of the top 10 give Strickland work. I don't know. It all depends on the styles, man. Listen, Cannoneer beat him, which, whichever one you think about the decision, it was a close fight. That's what I mean. You can go and beat Adesanya, but lose the Cannoneer. So, styles make fights, man. Thoughts on Lucas Tracy? I like him, man. I'm in his streams quite a lot, just jumping in the chat sometimes. Good to see you, though, Lance, man. Kayla could physically die for the 12. I'm not kidding. I don't know how she's going to make the weight. It's just ridiculous. It's dangerous, man. It's dangerous. Is he said he wants Drickus, then Strickland after. I mean, can you blame him? He wants that win back. I don't blame him for that at all. Listen, I won't rule it out. I just, I'd pick Strickland personally. It, listen, if Izzy comes in as a favorite, I'm picking Strickland all day. Central C, pound pound rapper. Not for me, bro. 172 centimeter Buckley versus 187 centimeter Shapcat. Yeah, that's a rough one. Sorry about that. Yeah, I, f I don't think that fight goes well for him at all. I think he gets subbed. Buckley was calling for MVP. I like that fight. Whatever you think about the result, I like that fight. I li Listen, whoever MVP fights is going to be quite entertaining. That's what you're going to get with him. So I like Strickland a lot, but he needs to stop complaining. Yeah, he's been waffling a lot on Twitter, man. Not, not a good look. Blaming it on, like, politics and that. It's like, no, mate, you just lost the fight. You lost the close fight that could have gone either way. And you're complaining about it and whining on Twitter. Like, grow up, get that win back, bro. If you don't get the fight now, fight someone else and then fight the win and then fight for the belt again. You're one win off fighting for the title again. So, <laughs> you're not going to get the, you're not going to get the shot by sitting around. That's what Aspinall said. He said he wasn't going to win the belt by sitting on, on on his sofa or his couch, you know? Went out there, smoked Pavlovich on short nose. Why not make it women's featherweight title fight and just new life into featherweight? Because there's no one else in that division, bro. <laughs> no, that makes sense. They're not going to put the featherweight division back in. 
they did that with Cyborg and Nunes, and then there was no one else to fight for about five years. You're not going to bring it back when there's still no one else. Strickland deserves the rematch. No, he doesn't. No title defenses, bro. Yeah, it was a close fight, and it was a good fight, but no title defenses. MVP is way, way too fast for Buckley, at least in my opinion. Mm. Yeah, I think so. I think the range is going to be the big thing for him. What happens if you miss his weight? Holmes said she won't fight her. I think the UFC will make a fire. It's UFC 300. I think they'll just say shut up and get on with it. <laughs> we like to move it indeed, bro. I haven't seen that film in ages. Old ass film. Exactly. And he might fight Usman and get another title shot. Not much to complain about. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, he's in a lot better positions than most fighters, bro. He's just not ranting on Twitter. Sign in Victor Fighters. Make a woman's 145. Yeah, that's a shout. What is happening outside? It's If you're talking about my background, it's raining, except it's not even real, bro. So don't worry too much. <laughs> it's not real it's a green screen sign off other way explain it's not that hard I just don't think there's very enough of them bro MVP Buckley that's a massacre who thought of that <sighs> listen man you never know I agree I think MVP puts him away but yeah Buckley did he called him out so fair play to him yo Ibrahim man show him some love boys show him some love hope you're good bro Buckley's out of his mind. <laughs> he said, listen, you got to aim high, man. you got to beat the best to be the best. So I don't blame him. Book Usman Hamzat too. Mm, because they want Hamzat to just move on. They want the division to move on. Uh, listen, we don't need rematches like that. You just don't. You just don't. For a dollar. <laughs> Shut up, bro. <laughs> Speaking of rabbits, such happy Easter Sunday. Indeed, bro. Hope you guys have a good Easter. You see Buckley parting. I read the energy. No, I didn't. I have to see that. I do believe so until last week that Jamal could do it. Yeah, you've seen the light, man. You've seen the light. <laughs> you know, man. But you're aboard the Jamal Hill train. I'm not a fan of him. I just think he's going to win. You do. You're, you live in a place that looks like an em empty library. That was always terrible weather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. I, 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 in real life, I'd like to live in a place with nice brick walls. It's cool. Terrible weather. Yeah, it's never nice weather here, you know. I think I just pointed the wrong way, didn't I? That way. We need to do if Poisson beats Hill, move on with my life because it won't surprise me either way. I think it's a close fight, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing good, man. I hope you are as well. I got Hamza over Rob. I just seen Ragdoll and Whitaker. If Whitaker can, again, it's really a story of cardio. If Whitaker can weather, can weather the storm, I think he'll, be, he'll win the fight. If he gets past the first two rounds, I think he's got a very good chance. Basically, like any Conor McGregor fight ever. Drick has got that ass takedown on Rob. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he didn't he? He wrestle fucked him in the first round. That's a good point. Stay in middleweight right now. It's just weird, bro. It's just weird. <laughs> you like the video? Thank you, man. It is, my, yeah, it, I'd say it is my best work. I'm glad you think so. It took me a stupid amount of time. I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. I was really proud of it. When I, my favorite bit was probably doing the, uh, if you watch that far, the Leon Usman fight, which I've done before. But the way I edited it this time, I just, just changed up some of the little cuts and also the music, which makes a massive difference. And I, I was really proud of how that bit turned out. Wicker Hamzat is a dream matchup. Yes, yeah, a great fight, man. I'm glad we're getting it. Drickers could beat Hamzat. I think he could. Honestly, at this point, you could argue Drickers could beat anyone, bro. You really could. <laughs> you really could. <laughs> like, because he just he's such a wild card. Win a fight for the title for Wicker Hamzat? Yeah, for sure. Makes sense. I kind of feel bad for Hamza in a way because he was promised the title shot if he beats U if he beats Usman, and that's what happened. So yeah, I mean, I think he could beat him. Got goosebumps again. Oh, you watched it again? <laughs> oh, the not the cluff. Yeah, I I, the, I really love editing that little bit just with the head kick, man. It's just, I mean, it's one of my favorite MMA moments ever. So that's you know I had to. I think Hamzat will be able to get a few takedowns early. Yeah, I do. It's just a matter if Rob can smart and survive. And he needs to just preserve his energy. That's the key thing. Because we know Rob can keep a pace for five rounds. He's done it plenty of times. So that is the reality of it. That's the that's what the fight hinges on. I'll answer a few more than I've got to dip because I actually have to go and get ready. But awesome dude. I've got goosebumps again. Keep going. I will, man. We've got some cool stuff coming. Probably nothing for that on that scale for a while because it takes ages to make. But... I'm sure we'll be doing some cool shit soon. Drickers beats anyone not named Izzy. <laughs> I think he can beat Izzy personally. I actually think he does beat Izzy. 
What do you think for rounds two or five of Usman versus Leon? I slowly got less and less vocal when I was watching it with my friend. So that's what happened. I was sort of feeling very down. People said, okay, Bruno Silva's career being fucked over. Yeah, it was bullshit. It was bullshit. Yeah, he was winning, but it is bullshit. I'm sorry. Half of them didn't come up, bro. Oh, sorry. Yeah, trash wire for me. Yeah, I did. I did earlier. I did earlier. I get Listen, I gave him a good scolding, bro. Don't you worry. Looking forward to the UK pay-per-view. It's in Manchester, so I probably won't go. I'd have to travel up, and it's going to cost a shit ton of money. Um, it will be a lot of money, bro. I don't know if you've been before, but 286 was a stupid amount of money to go. So, where are you going this time? No, man, I'm going out. With my, I'm going out with my family, bro. Not to, not today. I'm out of that game for a while. It's fucking exhausting. Drickus and Izzy is the main character in middleweight. Yeah, for real. What's up, Leo? Josh, I wish a uh, happy Easter as well, man. I'm just about to jump off, bro. I hope you're good. You as well, bro. Have a good one. Back to back eye poke chaos yesterday. John Jones influence. You say something about DC. I think it rubbed off on DC. The amount of eye pokes he had put on a Stipe, man. Is your cousin going to be there? I don't know, bro. What does that even mean, bro? I'm probably missing something. Anyway, I'm going to have to bounce off. I would stay on a little bit longer, but I literally can't because I'm very pressed for time. I'm supposed to be leaving in like 15 minutes. So <laughs> I'm going to have to jump off. I hope you guys have a good Easter. Have a good week. I'll see you again on Tuesday. We'll be streaming then. Video starts tomorrow. Uh, podcast will probably be out tomorrow. It should be out today, but again, out of my hands. I hope you guys have a good one. Sorry for the early stream if you didn't see it. I did mention it on the Discord, but I should have put it on YouTube as well. Should be back to normal schedule programming next week and on Tuesdays. It'll be at 7 p.m. instead of 6. You guys know the drill. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. And I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Where's my end stream button? <laughs> All right, see you later, guys.